Hey guys, it's Tracy. Welcome to Craft and Create with Tracy. This is a time where I create with you in real time. Uh, if I'm alive, there is a red live button up here at the top. If not, that means that you're watching on the replay. You may be watching uh, on in or in the Craft Around the Clock group, or you may be watching on YouTube. I am so honored and blessed that you are here today, guys. This is kind of becoming come my favorite day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, favorite day of the week. I love crafting and creating with you guys. And so I have a fun, uh, actually several crafts that I'm going to share that are in the same kind of family kind of thing. And so I have been working on this for the past few days and I'm so excited to share these with y'all today. So say hello as you come onto the page. Uh, if you're what, like I said, if you're watching now or if you're watching later on the replay, thank you so very much. I'm so glad that you are all here. So um, I see that Erin is here. She's watching from New York. Rose is here. Tanya, Peggy, and Miss Lisa, and Charlotte. I am so glad that you are all here. I am in Texas, in uh, Southeast Texas, in a little town called Brenham. And so I am, uh, you know, honored and blessed <laughs> that you are here. Guys, I am so ready for fall. I don't know if you are. And, and this project today really gets me into, to, into the fall feels like tomorrow's the first day of autumn first day of fall and so i am ready yes i am okay guys so this is what i'm going to be sharing with y'all this is what i'm so excited about these little can pumpkins yes they're little can pumpkins now um a few weeks ago i had participated in an event and i had shared these i had shared the orange ones uh you know with the little can and i painted them orange and you know decorated the top and that kind of thing well i wanted to add some white ones to my uh, you know, decor. So I figured out, I, I'm, I said, well, that's what I'm going to do for my craft around the clock. All right. So guys, this is what I am doing and sharing with you all today. Uh, and let me move this out of the way. I don't need that anymore. And so guys, look at this. This is just a can that I have covered with this, uh, these wall tiles. And so then I decorated the top, kind of like I did this one right here. So I just wanted to uh, just kind of share with you. I have a smooth edge can opener. It's an electric can opener. Um, I got it off of Amazon, or I think I got it actually at Walmart, and it cuts around the edge of it. Now, when I made these orange ones a few weeks ago, I didn't even think about, <laughs> you know, jagged edges and all of that stuff well i was getting comments and getting special messages to say how can i get the the top off or can you not just use the bottom because i like the top i want it to decorate it i want it to have both pieces but if you don't or if you have one that has a jagged edge you can always do the same thing like this on the bottom it will be just fine. <laughs> I just didn't even think about that. And so I just kind of wanted the whole shebang. You know, you could actually make this a little gift or, you know, hide a little trinket or something in it. Uh, how fun would that be? Anyway, so if you missed that and wanted to see it, the video is on my page as well as on my YouTube channel. And so I just love that. So anyway, guys, this is what I'm showing you today. I have uh, these white pumpkins. Now, what I did is I had um, used these wall tiles. Now, I, I will tell you, these you can find at the Dollar Tree. But I, my Dollar Trees that I shop at, I was not able to find them. I could never run across them. So a sweet friend and um, uh, a follower, viewer of my channel, let me know that she saw some at Family Dollar. So this is where I got mine at Family Dollar. So that's just an idea if it's if you're having a problem too finding that. And then maybe Dollar General. I'm not quite not quite sure. All right. So what I've done is um, I'm just using a vegetable can. I don't even remember what which what kind of vegetable was in here. Hi, everyone. I'm so glad that y'all are here uh, today. Uh, so what I've done is since it's white, I want I just went around and just kind of, you know, painted the edges just a little. And so then I just the back is sticky. Uh, so I kind of use that to my advantage. I just took my marker 
and just kind of measured it off. That's exactly what I did. You know, I just measured it off all the way down. Now I did try to cut this with my trimmer and uh, I don't know if it's just because of the back, you know, <laughs> it had to go through these. Eh, I just did better with my scissors. So that's why I went and just made little tick marks, three tick marks, you know, so that I would make sure that and get it even, okay? All right, and then also what I did is uh, I took a piece of it and, and put, like this is the lid. If you don't have a lid or you, you're using the bottom, then skip this step or whatever. But I cut out a circle to fit on my lid, all right? So I just use my plaster color chalk paint and that is uh, at Walmart, you can find that. And it's just, it's not uh, white, white, but it's not like, ivory either I just like this color all right so what I did guys is um this has a backing and so what I did is ever so carefully <laughs> I just just wrapped it on I just really thought that it just gave it a high-end look. I really do. Like it would be something that you would find uh, like at kind of like, um, oh my goodness, the name escapes me. Like Home Goods or um, what is that other one? Oh my goodness. Um, I'm just cutting the backing because it does seem to kind of like want to curl up on me. And so then for this particular can, it, it you know, kind of meets here in the back. So I'm going to cut that off because I want to save that because uh, on my next project, I did need a little strip because it didn't go all the way around. So I want it to... Um, so now what I'm doing is I am just gluing this down just with hot glue. And on my example, everything worked really good. So just like that. And so then what I did, cause that white backing uh, kind of pulls up, you know, a little bit. So I just went through and just kind of gave it some dots of hot glue in there just like that this is what we're making if you're just hopping on to the video we're making these neutral white can of pumpkins just a can out of my pantry uh kirkland's thank you miss nancy kirkland's that was what i was thinking of this would be something that you would find at kirkland's i could not it, the name escaped to me so thank you sweet lady i appreciate that this is what we're making today uh i've already made the orange ones and so i wanted some white ones all right so then what i did is i just gave it a coat of this plaster color chalk paint uh just with my brush that's exactly what I did. And so I've already kind of uh, put some inking on here, but that, that's only one coat of the plaster, color, uh, plaster chalk paint. And that is just my preference. Now for the lid, what I did is I did use some of my Fabri-Tac glue and just so that it would, you know, adhere down a little bit more. Cause you know, sometimes uh, hot glue tends to pop things up and so uh, I just used some of the Fabri-Tac glue as well as my hot glue to put this on the lid just like that that's all I did and then gave it a coat of that plaster color chalk paint all right so then that's where we're at at this moment that's what i have right here okay so then of course you know it was like a little too white i want my um i want my pumpkin to be distressed a little bit more yes this is tim holtz this is those uh tonic scissors that you can get at hobby lobby or anywhere like that in in the, his section my favorite oh they cut so good okay so to uh, grunge it up a bit. I'm just using my Distress Oxide in the color, you got it, Vintage Photo, because it's my favorite. And you can get this at the uh, 
craft store as well in the scrapbooking section. And so I just use my uh, finger dauber and I just went around the can just like that and kind of a little bit heavier in some parts, you know, just to give it some extra character and that kind of thing. All right, so I've already done that, so that's why I didn't need to do it, you know, real, real heavy. All right, okay, so this is what we're going to do. Oh, goodness, all right. So then for the trees, uh, the wood part of it, I'm using some of the tree stumps from Dollar Tree. They come in a little bag like this. I also saw some of these at Hobby Lobby and in, in the Christmas section. And so if you can't find any at your Dollar Tree, maybe check Hobby Lobby if you have that uh, accessibility because maybe you can find some of that. And these work great little pumpkin stumps for that, okay? All right. So then what we're gonna do is decorate it. Oh, I just, I just love it. I love the way that they turned out um, so much and, <clears throat> So uh, I have some leaves from the Dollar Tree and then that is what I'm going to make as the uh, part of the leaves for my can. Yes, for my can. Uh, so anyway, what I did is I just cut off pieces of that, uh, just cut pieces off. And I want it to, it to kind of form around the tree stump or the, the top of it rather. And so uh, I kind of trimmed it down a bit so that it would kind of fit in there like that. Now, um, I figured out if I kind of glue it up a, a bit, it kind of sticks up a little. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that too. All right. So I'm just kind of just kind of like crinkle that a bit so that it kind of sticks up a bit a little bit as I say the beauty is in the details you hear me say that a lot so just kind of doing that like that and I love these leaves because they're just so um, fun to work with these leaves from the Dollar Tree <clears throat> Just cut it down. And put it on there. Just like that. So that is how the top of our can is looking. Uh, again, if you're just popping on, I am decorating some white. I think these look high end that you would find like at Kirkland's or Home Goods or something like that. And so cute. I uh, just using cans from my uh, from my pantry and uh, ran them through my dishwasher, you know, took all the labels off and that kind of thing. And so then now I'm decorating the top of the can. If you don't have the top, you can definitely do something like this on the bottom, you know, just turn it over. But I wanted the whole enchilada, the whole thing. <laughs> I just wanted the whole experience. <laughs> all right. So then now what I'm going to do is, um, let me, let me see, what, what do I want to do next? So many fun things. Okay, so um, I had shared this uh, in the event uh, because I've started doing that just to see how that works on my Facebook page. I had created an event and I had shared this. Uh, it is called um, Cream and White Wildflower Garland. And you can find this at Hobby Lobby in the everyday garland section and so in the event for the for today where i'm live i had put a link to it if you want to look for it in hobby lobby all right so i'm using some of this because they come on a garland and i just took them off and just use like pieces of this that's what i'm using for my neutral pumpkins i just you know i just love this uh so much and so um i'm just kind of taking this apart And because um, it has like, you know, they, they come there. It's very easy to work with. And I just kind of cut these down. 
And I like it when you cut it down because it kind of shows the little green. It kind of like has the, the vein of the, of the little uh, flower leaves or whatever. And so I also use this part. It has little berries on it. Just so pretty. Just, just so pretty. You would think that this would be in the fall or my, my opinion that you would think that it would be in the fall section, but really it wasn't. It was in the uh, everyday garland type of thing. Okay. All right. So then now I'm just taking, uh, this is, um, Spanish moss. And so I also get that at Hobby Lobby and it's very messy, but um, don't mind the mess. Um, but I'm going to put a little bit of that too, but first, cause the moss kind of helps me kind of clean, um, mask any of my other stuff that I, that I, I'm using. Okay. So before I put that down, um, this is hemp cording or jewelry cording um, that you can get anywhere. Jewelry, this jewelry is sold and that kind of thing. I like it because it's thin. It's thinner than jute. It has just a little, uh, I just like using it in, in my projects. And so I'm just taking that and just making uh, kind of like a shoelace bow. I don't know if it has an, a name to it. I'm just going back and forth and making six loops, three on each side. And so I just hold that together. Then I cut off, whoops, cut off a little piece of this. All right. So uh, also I wanted to say that I, I left this a little bit longer because I want to tie this around my... Um, my stem and I think I cut it a little too short but this one that's what I did I I cut my extra piece to tie it off a little bit longer so that I could tie it around my stem but I didn't on this one but it's okay because we're just gonna make it work all right so let me move this out of the way because I'm done with those all righty so then for these little flowers, again, that's the, let me see, what was it called again? It was called the Cream and White Wildflower Garland. It's my favorite right now, uh, beside the pit berries, because that is my heart. <laughs> my heart. Okay, so then uh, what I did is I just started gluing this on there. Just started, you know, putting some of these uh, little leaves on there, just kind of building it. I also added some of these berries. Just added some of those berries. And then um, what I did is I, I'll just glue it since I didn't make my little Thing long enough which I could put another one but that's okay we're good we're good we're good all right so so let's see Miss Irene is watching from Virginia uh, hi Miss Barbara hello Miss Cheryl and hello Southern Smiles Crafts Miss Shelly is watching from California uh, hi Patty hi Carrie uh, hi everyone if I don't call out your name, it's that I just don't see it. And I, I do apologize, uh, but I do go back later and read every comment. And uh, if there's a question, I will be happy to answer. Okay, so then now what I do is I just took a little bit of this Spanish moss and just uh, went around and I used it just to kind of mask the uh, string of that hemp cording. And then got a little bit of green mixed in there too. But that's okay. Because it's all in the same color scheme. The same color scheme. All right. So I just kind of put that in there. I like the more whimsy look. And that just kind of caught on to my little tool here. And just kind of pulled apart. But that is okay. Because we're going to... We'll put some uh, some more glue on there. All right. So that is how that looks like that. All right. So then uh, these are my favorite pumpkin tendrils. Oh, I got them right here. 
my pumpkin tendrils. Now what these are, these are off of uh, a garland. Uh, I'll get these like at Hobby Lobby uh, from the garlands, the Pitberry garlands. And then this is the extra part of it because I cut it off and I use it for my wreaths or different decorating and stuff like these. Whoops. These uh, uh, berry garlands that are also from Hobby Lobby, they come long and they're, they're on a garland and I cut those off. These are the little extra parts. And so uh, what I do is I'm using my wire curling tool that is sweet friend and follower, Miss Jan Blackwell. Uh, I always say her name because I'm so appreciate her sending these tools to me and it's just a curling tool just like this now you don't have to have these gadgets that kind of thing but she just was kind enough to send them to me and so I try to use them and so there in my link tree there is a website that if you're interested in something like that that you can buy some of those and um <clears throat> So I just, it has a little slit in it and you can just curl it around. Now you could use your finger or a dowel or something like that too. You don't need to, you know, buy these kind of things, but I am a gadget junkie and I do like to have all of the things I do. I do. So, um, anyway, so that is my little pumpkin tendrils. And so, oh, here it was right in front of me. So I just you know, stick those in there as well. So that they're all cute. And then that Spanish moss kind of helps, you know, cover up the end of those as well. Okay. And so then that is my little pumpkin. Uh, isn't that so cute, guys? I just love the neutral uh, pumpkin. I, I do think that they look high end using the uh, wall tile. Uh, this is one that I, I didn't paint yet, uh, but I will paint it, you know, to add to my collection. But I wanted to show y'all how I put this stuff on. But that is what they just look so cute. I just love that so much. All right. So then, oh, okay, I forgot to put my little flower on there. I did. I put a little flower because uh, these little, gosh, I can't remember the name. Cream and white wildflower garland. You would think as many times as I've said that it would stick. It has these little white flowers on there. So I cut off a little bit of that. And just put it kind of in the center of that bow. In that uh, jewelry cording or that hemp cording. And that looks so cute. Now, it, like I said, if you don't have the lid, you could definitely do something like this on the bottom and just make it look so cute. Just like that. Oh, just like that. So cute. I could see these on like a, a fall table. Just, you know, just people just decorate with so many different things, textures, just all kind of, you know, just fun, fun, fun. All right, so for the second project, is what I did is I did this one, guys. Now, let me show y'all. Okay, this is sticking to me. <laughs> it's like, hey, you forgot about me. Uh, but I always keep it because I, you know, if I need a little piece, um, you know, I want to fill it in. Okay, so this right here is uh, my second project. Now this is using, this can is, um, you know, like, I think it was a formula can from my grandson. I had kept these or they were actually maybe some of his snacks or something. They come in these cans and they had like little plastic things on them. Uh, but this, that I'm just kind of showing you what I had because I wanted to make a arrangement with it and so what i did i did the same thing i used those tiles these um wall adhesive tiles this right here i found mine at family dollar because i could not find mine at the dollar tree everybody always had them all bought up so a sweet friend shared that she saw some at family dollar and so that's where i bought mine so i'm just saying just kind of sharing and i did the same thing uh, so I did, it didn't go quite all the way around this can, so I had to piece it together. So any of those little extra pieces that you cut off, save them because you may for if you want to do something like this. Okay, so I'm going to make a little arrangement. And so um, I just have some, you know, just 
some little styrofoam here some little styrofoam and so i just have all of these fun um florals that i just pulled together now i had found these cotton balls cotton bowl cotton stick uh, at walmart i've had them on hand for a couple of years and i did go to the walmart uh or actually on my walmart app i had scanned it and it said that they were no longer available but you know different walmarts have different things so you may still find these sometimes if they don't sell them they'll they'll bring them out the next year so what i did is i split it up a bit and um you know just kind of you know pieced it together like this now i have some of this brown uh floral tape and so it just worked perfect like this was an extra one and i had some of those floral sticks and so what i did is i just wrapped it around so that it would stand up a bit higher in my floral arrangement okay and so i have some of that and then um what i did i'm going to show y'all how i did those Let me move this out of the way so I just have some different uh, florals. Some I'm going to stick in the styrofoam, some I'm not. But I have some, uh, well, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do it. And then I have this right here. This is a white pumpkin. Um, it is a Robert Stanley brand. Now, I got this probably because uh, it was in my stash, and I got it from Hobby Lobby probably when they had them, you know, clearancing them out, like after this season, last year or the year before. Anyway, so I just wanted to share that. That's from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to be sticking that in there as well. Uh, I have some of these beautiful little sunflowers. I just like to put all kind of colors and different textures together and that kind of thing. This right here is one of my favorite bushes that I can get at Dollar Tree now. They're called eucalyptus. And I like them because they have like different tints, uh, different colors on it. It's not just totally green and that is not coming off. <laughs> you know, those, those stickers, you fight with those stickers. All right. So I'm just gonna stick that in there like that. And then just start sticking my florals in there. Just start sticking them in. How pretty. Just to just to make like for a side table or something like that. You know that you don't want anything real, um, you know, permanent kind of thing. And so I'm also using some of those, um, you know, those wall, those... <laughs> Cream and white wildflower garland, <laughs> some pieces of that as well. And so then let me, I have some Spanish moss and I'm just using the gray color. Uh, usually I'm very partial to the uh, white or the ivory uh, excelsior, but for this, I really wanted just to um, have the natural earth tones you know, and Spanish moss grows out on trees, you know, and that kind of thing. So I just stuck that in there just like that. I also have some of my pit berries. Uh, now these you can get at, at uh, Hobby Lobby anytime throughout the year. And of course, every other week, or at least now, they have them on sale. So they're like a whole garland. So you can, I uh, cut them off. I put these little steel picks on them. I have a steel picks machine. And uh, because I do a lot of wreaths and floral things. And so that just really works really good for me. And so I'm just kind of putting that in there just like that. And so then the, these cotton thing has these beautiful little brown autumn leaves. Uh, like I said, I had gotten this at walmart uh, a couple of years ago but you know you can find little cotton bowls and cotton pins uh sticks and stuff like this at other different places okay all right so then what i did guys is i have these now these little they're wire paper covered wire is what they are and at my uh, Walmart just recently I saw them I saw them at my Walmart in the craft section over where the uh, floral and stuff are 
uh, located in Walmart. And so that is what I did. I curled them around. And um, what I did is I cut, I wanted, okay, because when I curl this around, it's a little, some of it, you know, kind of goes down in there. I wanted two of them to stick up a little more. And so what I did is I took one and I cut it in half and then I just used my floral uh, tape and then just taped it just like that so that it would stick up a little bit more. Then all the browns and everything, it just all kind of ties in together. So I'm just sticking that in my uh, arrangement just like that. And you know, you can, you know, make it big, little, <laughs> you know, expensive not as expensive <laughs> you know you could just when you do florals you can just get more and more and more and more okay so i'm using those same um wire curling tools like i said if you're interested or you want to get a little bit more information in my link tree that is in the description of the video or, or it'll be underneath the video uh i do have a link of a website that that ha offers them and so what I'm doing is I'm just curling them around. <clears throat> you can also curl them around your fingers. <laughs> but, you know, a sweet friend, uh, a sweet friend had sent them to me, so I just used them. And so then it just, it just kind of curls them around just like this. So, like I said, with the other ones, I had cut one in half and taped it together so that it was a little bit longer. And so then uh, this one right here will be perfect just to you know i like these staggering heights you know uh on the things i just like all the staggering heights and so i haven't decided yet if i want to add um any kind of ribbon or anything I'm not quite sure but that's an idea too if like if you have something like this and it's little, you want it you want it to stick up a little bit more get uh, another piece of something you know this is wire so um you know it's thicker so that it will stick in or stick up a little bit more so anyway how cute if this this is just you know something just quick and easy to make for a friend a friend's birthday somebody who's in uh, the hospital someone who's you know struggling uh, you know that kind of thing just to say you care just to say you care and this leaf right here just kind of stuck out to me and I was like that's another idea if you don't if you can't find any of those um these cotton uh these cotton right here with the little leaves right here you can get these leaves from the dollar tree and make your own cotton pick <gasps> that's an idea there you go you can make your own cotton pick just add some things from uh the craft store and you can make your own cotton pick just you know put it together with the wire uh, I mean, uh, with the floral tape and all the colors and all of that stuff. Just turned out really cute. Oh, yes. That is... Uh, isn't that just turning out so cute? <laughs> all right, guys. Okay. We're on a roll. We're good. So let's move this out of the way. And I will definitely share pictures. You know, I do that. I take pictures and uh, try to share all of that with you, uh, you know, and that kind of thing. So let me clear this up right here. Okay. So then for the third, yes, I have three projects to share with y'all today, guys. I have been really working and getting things ready for today. And so I hope that you uh, enjoy this as much as I have been to get all of this prepared. Okay. All right, and if you make something like this or if you just want to share your creations with me, I do have a free Facebook group that you are welcome to join. You can share your creations with me, uh, something you've created, something I've inspired you to create. It is the Country Charm by Tracy Crafty Community. All right. Hello. Hi, Susan. First time coming on. Welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If it's your first time to uh, see me on Facebook or on YouTube, I am so honored and blessed that you are here. I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm. Uh, I apologize because I forgot to say that at the very beginning. I do apologize about that. Okay. So then now what I'm making is a hanger a door a, a rustic door hanger guys and i did the same thing i'm like obsessed 
<sighs> I'm, I don't want to say obsessed. I'm really liking these smashed cans. Really do. I love it so much. Okay, guys, this can right here was, this is like a Bush's Baked Beans can. So I just, I say that only just to kind of give a reference of if you like this, um, like this size, that's what I did. So then I used my smooth edge uh, can opener, got the, well, you know, opened it to cook, but then I got the bottom off as well. Then I just pushed and, you know, pushed in down, pushed down, pushed down until I got it down like this, okay? And then I took my hammer and kind of uh, hammered it down a little bit more. Okay, so this right here is just a um, a fence board. It was like, there were like pickets and I've used these on several other projects before, but um, you know, that's just what I had. And I had my husband cut them down to different lengths and stuff. So what I'm going to do is first I had put this wire on here because I'm going to, that's how I'm going to attach my can to this because I wasn't quite sure if I just wanted to rely on glue. <laughs> anyway, so what I did guys is I used that same adhesive. I have a whole little thing going on here. These wall tiles that you can get at uh, Dollar Tree. If you can't find, find them at Dollar Tree, make sure and look at Dollar General or Family Dollar because that's where I find mine at Family Dollar. Anyway, so then I just put it around the can. That's what I did earlier to make these cute little uh, I like think they look high end white pumpkins. And so that's what I did with this one. I uh, put it on the can, measured it out, and then I gave it a coat of the plaster color chalk paint. Now to grungy it up a bit, I'm just using my uh, favorite color. It is Vintage Photo Distress Ink. You can find this in the craft store in the scrapbooking section. And so that's what I did. I just took a little finger dauber and I just went. That's what I did with this. And what I did with my other little arrangement can, I just went over it, just kind of hitting the high points. Now, if you don't like the brown look, you can use any other color. You can leave them totally white if that's, you know, your style. So just kind of wanted to share that with you. I'm kind of going a little bit heavy down here at the bottom. Uh, and if you don't have access to ink, if you have paint, any kind of like burnt umber or any kind of brown paint watered down might do the trick as well. Okay. All right. <clears throat> So then, there we go. And I didn't put a sealer or anything on it, all right? Oh, I forgot. I should have done that first. What I want to do is just give this, just hit it a bit up here at the top. Just not doing anything solid. And just kind of, um, kind of whitewash that. So I see a lot of my friends like the vintage photo ink. Okay. And that's just chalk paint that I was doing that with. All right. So then what I did is I just have just some wire. I drilled uh, two holes in it and then uh, I tried to drill some holes in my can, but I was like, you silly girl. <laughs> I used my uh, Cropodile. Cropodile. I get questions about this. this is one of the most asked questions uh, beside my little tiny attacher that I use for my wreath videos, uh, my ribbons for my wreaths. Um, this is my most asked questions or I get comments about it. I get uh, messages. You can get these at the craft store or you can get them uh, on Amazon. Uh, but it has two hole punchers uh, on the sides here. And so I just, you can get, I can get in there and just put little holes in there. So, um, that is how I'm going to attach my pocket so that it does not, um, fall off. Um, 
and I'm going to make it really, really simple as far as like how I'm going to decorate it. And uh, also what I'm going to do is um, the wire and the, uh, I'm going to use some E6000, which is a permanent glue. Forgot I was going to put some of that down first. have a love-hate relationship with E6000, so that's why I get the small tubes. <laughs> All right, so just use that as well as uh, hot glue. And so then I use my little needle nose pliers to kind of help myself kind of pull that wire through, and we're good. And so I just kind of twisted it so that the wire kind of stays like that okay y'all can see that like that <laughs> make me a little pocket that's what I'm making a little pocket all right okay so then to decorate my uh little pocket I have some of this cream and white wildflower garland <laughs> I'm gonna put that in there um I thought about putting some styrofoam I like these little blocks of styrofoam that I can get from the Dollar Tree but um, just for time purposes, I'm going to show you. I'm just putting some of these um, beautiful little daisy flowers that I get from Hobby Lobby, my favorite store, guys, my favorite store. <clears throat> Put that in there. Put that in there. You could just, oh, you could just really fancy it up the way that you want but I just wanted to kind of share some different ideas I wanted to uh, create some of these cute little uh, I think they're high end that you would find kind of Kirkland's or home goods these would be so cute too uh, I just want to give some ideas for craft shows or craft fairs you know I know there are a lot of uh, you know fall craft fairs coming up in or you know you could switch this out and do something like this for uh the christmas season but anyway these are my projects for today so probably i'm going to make a bow and put the bow right here i'm going to put a hanger on it but i wanted to share my white tin can pumpkins with y'all and uh you know i had shared the orange ones a couple of weeks ago and uh, that's what those look like. I have the video on my uh, in my video library. So I am just so in love, guys. And I'm hung up here. There we go. So I have a little arrangement. Uh, you know, like I said, this would be great for a friend in the hospital or a nursing home. Uh, you know, just a friend that's struggling, just somebody who just needs a pick me up. You know, you could create some of these cute things like this and just or like this little pumpkins you know you could put a little gift in there you can put some little candy in there a little something something and uh you know just really make someone's day guys just make someone's day so like i said i will post pictures of everything uh you know look for that when i get those finished i will put a link to all of the pictures if there's any questions that i wasn't clear about i will definitely go back and uh you know answer any questions but i am loving all of these things and now why do i why do i move things out of my way i feel like i'm always reorganizing my clutter y'all feel that way <laughs> i always feel like i'm reorganizing my clutter <laughs> Anyway, there's more crafting to be seen in the Craft Around the Clock group. I appreciate you all joining me uh, again today. I will be back uh, next week as well with more country craft ideas. Thanks, guys, for joining me. God bless. We will see you all very soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.